Hi guys and welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. Today we are processing peaches. We bought half a bushel of peaches while we were in Virginia last week and we've eaten a good amount of them but they are starting to get overripe and kind of go to waste. So we are going to process them and we're going to process them by canning. So the first thing that I have done on my canner stove outside canning station is I filled one pot with water and then I filled the canner with water. So we are going to boil water hey. to get the skin off and then I have the jars in the other pot getting sterilized and heated up. My water is boiling. I'm actually going to turn it down a little bit so it's just a simmer. And I am going to add my peaches in and I'm going to simmer them for about 30 seconds. This is going to help get that skin off because we do not want to can them with skin. I'm also going to do this in batches just to make it a little easier on myself. And once they are simmered for 30 seconds, I'm going to put them in ice water. I'm also trying to do this quickly as to not over simmer them. And I think I forgot to mention, I'm starting with, I'm gonna do 10 pounds of peaches. All right, let's simmer that for 30 seconds. going to peel them, pit them, and slice them. You can see the skin is peeling right off. I'm actually going to save the pits for another project. We're going to try and plant some peach trees from seed. So if you want to see that, make sure you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload that video. Jars are out. Now I'm going to load all of these jars up with the peaches, probably fill them within about an inch of the top. I got my jars all full, not all of them. I got the first batch. So now what I'm gonna do is I made a simple syrup of six cups of water, two cups of sugar. I'm gonna fill each of these jars with my simple syrup. I'll leave about a quarter of an inch. It's kind of hard because of all the bubbles, but we will Go back and add more if we need to. Now I'm going to clean the top of these jars up and make sure that I have a half an inch of headspace on all of them before I put the lids on. So here's my handy tool. My 
jars are ready, so I'm going to add them. I'm actually going to turn this up and get this to boil, and then I'll add my jars in. I'm going to do this so that I don't overcook the peaches and they don't become a smushy, yucky mess. It shouldn't take that long. Before putting the lid on, I'm gonna make sure that the water is about two inches above the lids, which it is. Put the lid on. I'm gonna bring it back up to a boil and then I will process this for 25 minutes. So my pot is done processing and then I turned it off and I let it sit for five minutes just to kind of cool and settle. Now I'm gonna take these in and put them on the counter and let them sit for 24 hours. If they sealed, great. If not, they will go into the fridge so that we can use them quickly. All of our sealed jars go in our basement. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and processing our peaches. If you want to know more about processing peaches, make sure you head on over to our website. I will leave a link below. And thanks for hanging out with us at the farmhouse. We'll talk to you soon.